morning folks Tim and Ashley with Outdoors for Adventure as you can see we're on the road fixing to jump on I-30 and head toward Canton Texas we were headed to Canton Texas to go to the East Texas Fiber Festival there they had growers spinners creators of all kinds there were vendors, classes, demonstrations, and a silent auction. You could actually take a project, or you could start a new one at their sit and stitch at the lounge. There was no admission fee, but they did request you bring a canned good for a donation since uh, they were there just before Thanksgiving. We really enjoyed going it seemed to us like there was a lot more there to see uh, more vendors and it looks like it's growing you can find just about anything you need as far as fibers and the fibers arts and crafting so if you haven't been we really suggest that on the next one you go because they've been having them yearly i think this was our second one for the East Texas Fiber Festival, but uh, you can find them online if you just type it in. But if your wife says, hey, hun, I want to go to the Fiber Festival in Canton, Texas, don't fret thinking, okay, I'm going to see a bunch of yarn and stuff I'm not interested in. Uh, myself, I am interested in it, but that's just me. But if you watch all this video, you'll see that there's more than just the Fiber Festival to go to in Canton, Texas. And a lot of people, when they think of Canton, Texas, they think of First Monday Trade Days, which is an awesome flea market to go to. One thing you'll find while you're in Canton, Texas to go visit is the Van Zant County Veterans Memorial. The Van Zant County Veterans Memorial Foundation is a grassroots organization of county citizens representing the communities of Ben Wheeler, Canton, Colfax, Edgewood, Edom, Fruitville, Grand Salem, Martins Mill, Myrtle Springs, Van, Wills Point, and others. Canton was chosen as the site of the Van Zant County Veterans Memorial Plaza as the county seat of Van Zant County. The mission of the memorial is to create and perpetuate a memorial that honors the sons and daughters of Van Zant County, Texas, who left to fight for freedom and never returned. The memorial is a place of beauty and reverence where families and veterans can find peace in the memory of lost loved ones. The memorial was established to create in all who see the veteran plaza as a monument for the understanding of the magnitude of loss we all share in the name of freedom.
In November 2016, the memorial celebrated the unveiling of the 11-foot-tall bronze, Never Forgotten Kneeling Soldier. The Kneeling Soldier Monument symbolizes the understanding of the magnitude of loss we all share in the name of freedom. The statue includes engraved granite markers with the names of fallen and missing servicemen and women from Van Zant County. U.S. Army Specialist and Iraq Veteran Juan Hirar from Canton volunteered to be the model for the Kneeling Soldier statue. Over the life of the Veterans Memorial Plaza, other monuments have been ad added. A Marine Corps Huey UH-1E helicopter, a large Navy ship anchor, an Air Force F-4-D jet, a granite marker with three levels of donor names on one side, and on the opposite side is the mural duplicating pictures of the five branches of military. There is a flagpole donated by the Bob Reese family, an Army 105mm howitzer, an Army deuce and a half transport truck, and a 2012 a 41 foot Coast Guard boat was added. In all, there are nine monuments dedicated to all branches of the military that adorn the Van Zant County Veterans Memorial. A gift shop and monument were added to accent the plaza exhibits. For the memorial to achieve these goals, generous donations from individuals and organizations were needed. Fundraising was an ongoing effort. From constructing the memorial to maintaining the Perpetual Care Fund, the foundation assured that Van Zant County's Veterans Memorial will last for many generations to come.
Clinton, Texas also has plenty as far as parks and recreation. Cherry Creek Park at 1200 Cherry Creek Road is a great place for family picnics with its playscape, picnic tables, and grills. The park also has marked nature trails, a walking trail, approximately half a mile around, which includes an exercise circuit nature trails and wildlife observation deck. The park has a fantastic 18-hole frisbee golf course. You can bring your own equipment or you can buy some from the Canton Visitors Bureau at 119 North Buffalo, located off Old Kaufman Road. There's also the Old Cedar Lake. It has a pier and bank fishing, swimming with no lifeguard on duty, picnic areas, playground, lighted tennis courts and volleyball courts, baseball and soccer fields. Canton City Lake has Mill Creek Reservoir. It has a boat ramp for fishing and sailboats, swimming, no lifeguard on duty. Of course, you have First Monday Park and Civic Center. It is for First Monday and special events. It's an RV park, Civic Center, pavilions, restrooms, hot showers, bandstand, picnic areas. There's a rodeo arena. And there's Van Zant County Fairgrounds. It's located pretty close to Purtis Creek State Park, Tyler State Park, Athens Freshwater Fisheries and Hatcheries. You got Lake Tawakani State Park, Lake Tawakani for fishing, and Lake Ray Hubbard and Lake Fort. Now some of those are a little bit of distance away, but they are within the area. So there's more to do in and around Canton, Texas. Uh, there should be something there for everybody. Ashley and I enjoyed our stay at Canton, Texas. We enjoyed our strove through the East Texas Fiber Festival, checking out all the hand-dyed yarns and crafts. We enjoyed seeing the Van Zant Veterans Memorial we spent quite a bit of time there reading and looking at all the sites. After we left there, we checked out the city park, walked a trail, and enjoyed seeing the opportunities that Canton provided for different range of people. From looking at yarn, to going to flea markets, to walking a park, to playing frisbee golf, to fishing, you name it, there's something there for you to do. So y'all go to Canton, Texas. Check out the East Texas Fiber Festival or check out the first Monday trade days or just go for a stroll in the park. It's worth the trip. Don't forget that it's also the Eagle Capital of Texas. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.